exception I'm taking is uh, what my colleague, my learned colleague Mugaka is, uh, Moshimo Mugaka is saying, as pertains to whoever once wants to express himself, it is purported or assumed that he is sent. I think that defeats common sense for a whole member of parliament to have been assumed that he is sent. He is sent. <coughs> Yet I know that uh, during the just uh, uh, two months ago, when we were on our campaign trails, we used to give uh, promises, counter promises, savings in different ways, and nobody used to send us. But now, when somebody, let's say, goes to distribute food in his constituency, and possibly he has nothing else to say, or he is dry in his wants, and just find that maybe he wants to please the congregation there, and say things as it is enshrined in the constitution that you see. This, this freedom of uh, expression is interesting because if it's not infringing on somebody else's freedom and mm -hmm. it's not acting the nation's interest, it's not limited to in any form. Mm -hmm. So to me, when it comes to the remarks of Honorable Jacob, may I put it this way. Up to now, we cannot say we extend whose term and we remove what. Because the constitution is very clear. It says that the president term is two terms. And uh, we can only measure the performance of somebody at the end of the term or at a particular time when one has performed or has done a marvelous compared with the ones who were there before. Kenya, we need a performer, as it is. Kenya, we need, somebody, we, we need a strong arm who is able to implement the constitution as it is. Not just... Uh, a quagmire situation whereby we talk of the constitution, but when it comes to implementation, it's next to impossible. We leave it in just in a, a quagmire situation. So the best thing is that, uh, can we put that idea of what the Fafi MP said aside because it's not part of the agenda now. Can I, I, pray, I, I request Kenyans, mm -hmm. we place that idea aside. Let it be 